Okay, well, now that you've seen how a simple NuGet package uh, is composed and put together, let's take it a step further with a NuGet package that has a dependency on another NuGet package. Um, and to demonstrate, I'm going to uh, show you this uh, jQuery uh, plugin that I created that takes care of filtering out business days uh, in the jQuery UI date picker. So this is uh, a plugin that extends another plugin, if you will. Uh, so this is May 2012, and you can see that all the weekends have been um, uh, dimmed out. And of course, on Monday, uh, May 28th, the United States, that's Memorial Day. And if we continue, we go to July 4th, that's Independence Day. And then if we go to September, uh, September 3rd, the first Monday in, in September is Labor Day. So we have all these bank holidays, and it's a rather common function that uh, a day that you select has to be a, you know, like a valid, like a valid business day or, you know, something like that. So uh, so I'll, to fill a need that I had, I, I created a, a, a jQuery plugin, and that uh, jQuery plugin uh, actually exists uh, as a um, as a little you know JavaScript file called a business day filter. Uh, there's not much code involved. Uh, that example HTML file uh, just has some script. So up here I'm loading version of jQuery and jQuery UI, and then this business day filter is my um, plugin file. And of course I've got some CSS and a few other things, and then down here um, I'm loading up this holiday list, and then we have the typical date picker uh, plugin that is uh, part of jQuery UI, and then I go ahead and extend that further with this business day filter, and I pass in the holiday list, and then I also go ahead and designate that the weekends are disabled. So um, pretty simple plugin and uh, very useful. So now I want to make this available to people uh, as a as a NuGet uh, package. Now, if you go to the top of the uh, the web page, you can see that I have several dependencies in here. I have a dependency on jQuery. I have a dependency on jQuery UI. Now we know that the jQuery UI package uh, for NuGet itself has a dependency on jQuery. So the way I'm going to construct this is I'm just going to take on a direct dependency to jQuery UI. The nice thing about NuGet is that it will traverse the various packages that you have a dependency on. So if I take on a dependency to jQuery UI, then when jQuery UI package gets installed, it then will say, hey, and determine, are there any dependencies that jQuery UI has that we need to bring in to our project. And of course, it'll see, oh yes, we, we have the dependency on jQuery and it'll bring that in too. Of course, if I install this into a project that already has jQuery UI and jQuery, those dependencies uh, won't have to be downloaded, but it's really nice that NuGet handles that work uh, for us. Now to go about setting about the work of uh, creating uh, our uh, NuGet package, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and open the NuGet Package Explorer, and I'm going to create a new package. So the first thing is to add our package content. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new content folder, and then underneath that, I'm going to add a scripts folder because this is where I want uh, this uh, JavaScript file to uh, be installed to. And then I can go ahead and add an existing file which happens to be under my scripts folder and it's called business day filter. Now you can see jQuery 172 and jQuery UI is here. I'm not going to worry about those because I'm going to let NuGet handle those dependencies for me. So the only thing I'm going to add is my business day filter. So for content, I have everything that I need. The only thing I need to do now is to outfit the package metadata. And on the package metadata, I'll give it an appropriate ID and I'll call it uh, business date filter. We'll leave the version at 1.0. Uh, I can give it a nice title, business uh, date filter jQuery date picker extender uh, or something like that. Uh, owners, I can put my name, my ID. 
Um, I can specify a project URL. Again, I can specify a license URL. We can give it a summary uh, for a description. I'll just type uh, extends the jQuery UI date picker widget. And I suppose I can make that for the summary as well. We can add release notes. We can add a copyright date if we wish. We can also um, uh, we can also specify a language, so English U.S. Now to make this searchable and to be to be um, locatable, um, you definitely want to add some tags in here. So probably the jQuery would be a good tag. Um, jQuery UI uh, date picker, something like that, uh, would be a good um, probably set of good tags to supply here. Now the next thing is to uh, supply the dependency. So for the little button over here on the left, it says select dependency from NuGet feed. Now I have a private NuGet source here, but it, that's just a file directory and that's not a NuGet feed. NuGet feeds are, are hosted by uh, IIS. And uh, so the official NuGet feed we're going to have to use here, and there's the URL for that, to locate uh, our, the, uh, the package that we wish to take on the direct dependency to. So here is jQuery.UI combined. This is the package that I want to take the direct dependency on. Now we know that this package also has a dependency on jQuery. So again, NuGet will recurse through everything and will take care of handling all those dependencies that are contained in other packages that I'm taking a dependency on. And it will recurse through all that and take care of it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to hit the little plus. And now I have now loaded in what my dependency is. Uh, there is no framework assemblies. They don't uh, apply here because uh, this is just, these are JavaScript files. But if I were dealing with any uh, .NET DLLs, I would want to deal, um, I would want to go ahead and, and, and work with that. And then that's pretty much it for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to save it. And I'll go ahead and save this onto my uh, desktop. And we'll call it business day filter or business date filter 1.0.0. And here it is. So here is our uh, new NuGet package. I'm going to go ahead and do what I did last time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this. And then I'm going to go to my local NuGet source and paste it in. And uh, Later on in this course, uh, we will be publishing to the official NuGet feed. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this into my local uh, NuGet feed. Now, what I'm going to do is go over to my uh, NuGet example uh, project. And you can see that I've cleared out a lot of jQuery-related uh, JavaScript files. So I'm going to right-click on here and select Manage NuGet Packages. So let's look at my local NuGet package source and let's filter on business day filter and here it is business day filter and you can see there's my dependencies and all this other good metadata that explains what's going on I'm gonna click install now notice what this did this did a lot of work for me and you can see now it went ahead and took took care of um, installing jQuery 164. So that happens to be the version of the jQuery package that uh, jQuery UI has taken a dependency on. Uh, if I wish to now update the package of jQuery to 172, I certainly could do that. And you can see uh, down here, uh, right here, in under scripts, there's my business day filter uh, JavaScript file. It's all there. And it's ready it's ready for um, it's ready for you know my project to use now of course if I change my mind and uh, I do I no longer wish to have business day filter installed of course I can go ahead and uninstall that uh, fairly easily uh, if I go back to manage new get packages and I go to the install packages and I search on business day filter and I go ahead and uninstall you can see that it's going to ask hey this depends on jQuery UI combined and jQuery 164. Nothing else is depending on them. Do you wish to uninstall those too? I'll go ahead and click OK. And just like that, 
Just take a couple seconds here. We're, we're right back to where we started from. So you can see um, managing dependencies and building packages in NuGet uh, is very simple. And of course, you want to be, um, when you can take advantage of the dependencies of other packages and let the other packages resolve those dependencies for you, it's that much work you have to do. So as you can see, building packages uh, and even moderately complex packages in NuGet is very simple.